Welcome to What Happens If You Mess With Rick. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, the inspiration for, for this video came from a, uh, you know, a question that somebody asked me on LinkedIn. Um, with a code example of something that, uh, that she was trying to do. And, well, it was, it was a case of processing some data and uh, she mostly got it right. And and that was a great effort. Uh, and but but we have this mythical, this this always present kind of record called REC um, inside Business Central. And when can you use it, and when should you not use it? That is a uh, that's that's the topic of uh, of today's video. So I think we. We kind of need to get going here because we probably need to write some code, and we can do that here because this is Visual Studio Code. And I just created a new app just before I hit re record. Um, and we might as well start the place where um, so many videos have started on a page extension. So here we have the customer list, and um, we have Rick. Right, REC is, what is REC? Well, REC is the customer table because on the customer list, the uh, source table is the customer table and whatever the source table is on a page, that becomes REC. So it's there, it's available, we might use it. Um, so so let, let's, let's try to do the thing. Um, that inspired this video. Um, so we, we're gonna create a new action on um, on the custom list, and I will add this first in processing because that's an awesome place to put something. Uh, I'll create a new action. We'll call it test because that's a well, let's call it YouTube test here. Uh, we need an application area, and um, and then. We'll just create some code. So let's say that YouTube test is something where we need to uh, we need to run through all the records. Sure. Um, so we can do an if uh, and let's we can actually do if find uh, set because uh, maybe we can't and if we can't that's because we have the no implicit with activated in this app. So if I remove this feature, I could actually go in here and then I could say if find set. And now we get a warning that implicit with is, well, you shouldn't do that. But, but you know, we can ignore warning. That's just warnings, right? Uh, no, don't, don't ignore warnings. Um, but. I could, I could, because if find set here, and then I could go repeat uh, until next equals zero, and I could do some fancy processing here. No. Apart from the warnings about the implicit width, then th this is valid code. Um, so. What happens if I run this? So let's let's try this out in real life. So I will hit a five to compile and then we will deploy. And hopefully we get the customer list here. We have that. Perfect. So my cursor is now on the first one. I go and I do more option. I find action and I have my YouTube test here. So you see what happened? I ran the test and now my cursor is on the last one. So because I messed with REC here, and that's actually because it's, it's more obvious if we turn this back on, and then we say REC.FindSet and REC.Next. Because I used REC here, and then I ran through all the records and I left. So, so the last, at this point here, 
Rick is the last record in the record within the current filters, right? So my cursor jump, so we can do it again, go up here, actions, YouTube test, boom, it jumps to the last one. So that means that whatever I do on a page with the rec variable will impact the page. Um, we, we, we can we can do other things. So let's say that that this this same piece of code. Let's um, let's create a trigger. So on after get record. What happens if we so basically what we're doing here would be the same as doing a reg dot find last right that that. Now we're just doing some processing, but imagine that for some reason we need to process something and we use, or maybe we should just, I'll, I'll just copy the code here. So we have this piece of code now here in, in an, a trigger that is based on how you navigate the table. So what, what happens here? We broke it. I think the page is, let's see what happens if we try our thing. No, no, the page is broken. There's no arrows. So we don't have a breakpoint. Nothing has, has triggered an arrow, but, but clearly this does not work. We could um, we could try to make this less uh, breakable. What about uh, what about if we do on after get record we do next? What happens then? Now we do get an error. Something did go wrong. Enough that, let's see, did we, we didn't break. So the, the, so there's no, no errors being trapped, but, but clearly this doesn't work. And I think the reason this goes completely bananas is that if next is not encapsulated, then it will throw an error if it cannot step. Uh, so I think if we encapsulate this in in, a, in an if, and then just do something here, kind of what we do up here, um, then it might be less angry at us. No, no. But here's, here 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 is the here is the first lesson we should never well we should never mess with rec but but what is more important in this case is we should never mess with rec as a as the cursor the position of where this record sit what what row in the table rec is pointing towards we should never mess with that uh, because we can either confuse the user or we can break the system. Um, so what should you do? So let, let's get rid of this trigger down here because clearly that doesn't work. But this is a fair ask. You wanna do something on the, on, on the records you see on, on the list. Uh, and, and we could say that we could go something like that. That let's do rec dot name two equal rec dot name, um, and then we gotta do a rec dot modify. Um, that's some kind of processing, right? So 
this might be valid. This might be a, a, a something, hey, the customers are asking, I need a function that will do something on, on all the all the customers that I can see on the screen that within the current field, what do I do? Well, the first thing you do is that you have to say, okay, let's not let's let's not use rec for this, but we kind of need rec at least we need rec as a um, as a starting point. Um, so now we go and create a, a new rec. So we know that this is the this is the customer table. Um, so if we want to get to know to get the properties of rec, we have different ways of doing this. Um, we can um, we can do and say rec dot copy filters. Uh, actually, we have to say new rig, copy filters, and then the parameter here. So if I go this, then from table. And and then we want to change our thing to new rig here. Wow. I'm not able to type. Wow. New rig. New rig. And... And here, if you turn on code cop, it will tell you that you're nexting on, on a different record than you'll find setting, but I haven't turned that on. So there. So that's, that's one way of doing this. Um, another, so now if we run this again, let's, let's compile, run this. Let's just kill all the other tabs here. Uh, so if I go here and then I say in the action YouTube test. No, it's still on the first one. Let's if you go in and maybe name two is not on the page, but we can we can open our friend. Can we open our friend? Come on, page inspector tool. Try that again. Control Alt F1. Sometimes it likes it, sometimes it doesn't. Maybe we open the page and see if it likes us on the page. I think this page has. Oh no, hang on, there might be. No, sometimes there is like a breakpoint from some trying to connect to CRM or you know what we don't care about that if they were, that page doesn't want to play with us that's okay we want to play do not want to play with that so the other option here is that maybe you want to well go away maybe you want to uh, that's still the wrong page. Page 22 is probably better. That's the list. Maybe your function I broke it. Wow. Okay. Let's let's see. Don't mess with rec. I know um, maybe some of the other sessions are still running and trying to. Okay, here we go. Uh, maybe what you want to do is is it, it, is not a um, it's not a loop. Maybe what we what we want to do is mainly this this part on on whatever has been selected, uh, and and you would like to support that like to like to support multi selections. With that case, we have another function. So on the current page. There is a function god called uh, get no sorry set selection filter because you this one is always weird. So what we notes the records that the user have selected on a page, mark those records in the table specified, and set the filter to marked only. 
So set the filter of the record that we pass, in this case, new rec, to be the selected records of rec. So Cure, Cure Page owns rec. So we now set this, the records that has been selected on the current page, aka in, in rec, we're gonna set the, those as a filter on new rec. Uh, so if we go in here and then we say message percent one, and then we go uh, new rec dot get filters. So we can see what happens. So if, if we run this now, So now I have a loop, uh, but in reality, so if I click on School of Fine Art here and then I call my function, I get a filter saying that I just want to work on 30,000. So that's normal. So, but, but if I now go here and so I select these three and that one, and I go action, YouTube test, so now I get a filter saying marked yes, meaning that we have four records that has been marked. Uh, maybe we should actually, let's improve this excellent piece of software here just a bit. Uh, count equal, and then do, wow, do new rec dot count here. So I select the same four again. I call my function and I get that there are four records in this filter. So in this case, now I can do my, my fancy processing that if I just have a single one, I get that as a single filter and I get the count. So, so in reality, we are not we're not messing with rec we're just getting the the properties of rec and then we're reusing them elsewhere uh, in different ways so we can you know we can get the filters if that's interesting or we can get what what's been selected so we take that information off rec and we use it to process and in that case we are never messing with rec um, so should you mess with break? Rarely. Uh, there is another case where you can uh, imitate rec to, to be something by having like rec being the, the integer table and then you have a, a shadow record that is being shown and stuff like that. That's probably another video. Let me know if that's interesting. I can't remember if we have done that. Um, but don't mess with rec because Reg is awesome at just the way it is. And, uh, but you can get all the information off it if you need it and then use that in your own code. So uh, check out this video. Some more ale hacking for you. It's a good one. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.